Windows 11 24 H2 is released, okay? Before I record this video, I did some tests, so it's released two days before. I know you guys was waiting for me for this video, and here I am. I'm going to show you how to install on your unsupported computer, okay? If you are on unsupported computer, you see that message that your processor is punishing you, or TPM 2.0 uh, punishing you. I'm going to show you today how to install on your older computer, okay? If you're still on Windows 10, this is the moment that you will upgrade your Windows 10 to new Windows 11 24 H2. But if you already are on Windows 11 in version 23H2, I'm going to show you how to install 24H2, how to upgrade your Windows on the latest build on your unsupported computers, okay? Go ahead, watch the other video tutorial that I did for this topic. Don't worry, I covered everything, okay? So let's go ahead and let's install it. So first thing that I'm going to do is that I'm going to go here on my PC properties and then let's see my computer. Oh, I'm running on 22H2, but it's Windows 10 Pro, okay? Let's try to update. Search for update, check for update. So let me check here. You see here we have some cumulative updates, but we are still on Windows 10, 22H2. So I'm not going to install this right now, but this PC does not, doesn't currently meet the minimum system requirement to run Windows 11. Get the PC health check. And let's try and let's see. What is this? Unlock this. No, no, man. Here it is. Let me check with this, with uh, this uh, PC health check. Okay. Accept and install. Is not supported. Check now. This PC does not meet the system requirements. This is a really good processor, guys. I really like this processor. But it's generation 7 and it's not 8. And that's the point. More about supported CPUs. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do. I'm going to go and download. How to get it? Just search on Google. Download. Windows 11. Here. Go here. And now download Windows 11 current release Windows 11 2024 update is 24H2. That's great, guys. Here it is. Here is how you can create Windows 11 installer media. Okay. What I'm going to do, I'm going to download the ISO file directly from official website from Microsoft directly. Okay, guys. Before you begin, what is this? No. Download here. Choose one. Okay, maybe English International. Why not? What is English International? Here it is. Less software is inside. Is more stock. Is okay here. Verify your download. Okay, here. Click this button and then you will see here it's going to download. Okay. Let me go on my website. Go to this this post okay but you will find the link on the description with new uh with new post because um when i publish this video will be published also a uh, new post like this and here it is we have all the steps here now what i'm going to do i'm going to use this method but the method that i'm going to show you guys is really cool it's easy i'm going to use the same method uh with setup prep Let, let's see and let's check if this method will still works here is the iso file i will bring on the desktop as you know there are two methods one method is right click and mount and then open up you will see this as a disk it's mounted as a disk go back and you will see here it is you see the windows 11 here mount disk but it's not that much it's not that fast to install and sometimes it's stuck and you see the problems and you write the comment and say okay i'm not able to install it because of mounting what i'm going to do i will extract this here in my desktop here on the folder you can do the same okay like i'm doing if you want to mount you if you don't want to extract then go ahead if you if you don't know how to extract the iso file use 7-zip it's free download 7-zip install it or Download WinRAR, okay? WinRAR. Everybody knows WinRAR, so. But if you want to mount, just mount and do the process. But let me show you first with this method, okay? Double click here. I need this link. 
I'm going to copy. And here is the file and setup and everything, okay? I will keep it here on paste. And what I'm going to do, guys, go to start, search for CMD, right click on CMD, run as administrator. Don't run directly because you will not be able to, to install it. Run as admin, okay? As admin here. So here we are, CD here. Now I'm on C drive. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to type CD, right click, how I found this link. Here it is. Go ahead, copy and bring it here. Let's go again, let me show you. CD, right click directly, just one once right click. And you see it paste automatically. Click OK. Now you are on the folder. Now you are on this path here. You have to go on sources. You have to type CD, again CD. So sources is this folder here, sources. Now you see you are on sources because you have another slash here. Now on the sources, what you are going to do, see the command here. Now right here, the CMD command, set up prep exe space product server. Uh, let me copy the command, copy, paste it here. So what I, what I type is, Setup prep, look, sources, go to sources. Where is setup prep? Let me show you. Here it is, setup prep. You see the setup prep here? Yeah, I'm, I'm calling setup prep from this CMD line. Is that exe because it's exe space slash product server. And now what I'm going to do, hit enter. Let's see what is going on. Now it's saying install Windows Server. It's not Windows Server. It's change how setup downloads update. Download update right now, not right now. We don't have time to do any downloads. And if you have any problem, sometimes you need to disconnect your internet completely. Okay, guys, not right now. Click next. This is the easiest method, guys. The easiest, as you already know, maybe from the other video tutorials that I did before, but Wait, keep files and settings. You know why I see this? Keep personal files only? It's because I'm not in international version of my Windows 10. Now, if you don't want to see this gray out, you go ahead and download the right version for you. In my case, in this computer, I'm on uh, English United States. If you want to find out what your what your system uh, based language is your Windows 10, go to search for CMD. OK, then here it is the, the command. And then paste the command. And here it is. You can see the default system language is EN United States US. OK, this is your Windows version that you have to download. OK, this is my mistake. What I did before. Now, what I'm going to do, go back here on downloads go down select download windows multi edition download now yeah i'm going to download the the right version for my for me i don't want to lose any files guys i'm recording on this yeah english united states i'm recording the video and i don't want to lose my softwares now on this computer so click confirm so now the the other download is ready yeah i have very fast internet okay here it is now, I'm not going to mount for the moment because I wanted to install very fast. When you mount, it's not that fast. Now, extract here. It's super fast and in extracting. This processor is amazing, guys. I don't know why it's not supported. I mean, this is really good. Now, we need this. We need to go on this folder here. I'm just copy and paste the source, but let me show you right now. Close all of this, go to CMD, so you know now. CMD command prompt real quick. Okay, just type CD, always CD space, copy the path that you wanted to go, bring it here, right click, click enter. Now here, I'm on the folder now. If I click dear, you will see everything on the folder. Okay, we are on sources, huh? don't forget that. You remember the command? Is here, setup prep.exe, here, let me let me type it for you. Setup. Yeah, setup prep. 
that exe space this kind of slash no this no yeah no the other one the other one here and product server super fast product server this command is amazing because it's allowed by Microsoft. I'm not doing any special thing here. Just using the right version for my computer. Yeah, it's allowed by Microsoft directly. Yeah, change how to set up. Not right now. Click next. Yes, checking your PC. Accept. Hey, you see now? Keep files and settings. You see now that I was right when I was talking about that. So guys, it's very important to have the right Windows 11 version language like your computer is. And then, that, uh, okay, okay, then go ahead and install it. I'm going to install it. I'm doing right now. Making sure you are ready to install. Not everybody knows there are commands allowed by Microsoft. Okay, install Windows 11 Pro, keep files and settings. Okay, go ahead, click install. Here we are, it's installing, but wait a second. It's 1%, guys. Preparing for installation. For this new version of Windows, I will make another video tutorial. I'm going to show you the performance. I'm going to show you if it's really worth to do this upgrade. And I'm going to show you new features on Windows 11. Yes, the best features. I'm not going to cover every single one. I'm going to cover the best features that you really care about those. Maybe 10 or 20 features for Windows 11 to compare with, with Windows 10. We are on this first setup. Okay, I'm going to click accept. Here it is. So you see guys, I'm here on new Windows 11. Only 10 minutes for me to install, okay? Yeah, I know I'm running on NVMI drive and it was very fast to do it. Let me remove this background because it's too noisy. Here it is, I will keep this. Let me check here properties, the Windows 11. 24 h2 for first time here yeah that's great that's great yes it's activated it's activated it's because my windows 10 was activated activated with digital license on my bios let me check for updates guys let me see if updates works update go to settings windows updates here if you want the latest one latest update security updates keep this check for updates let's see if we have any updates Oh, look at this. Cumulative update preview. So you see that updates are working well. After you install Windows 11, now is the moment that you will see and check the performance. But if you are not satisfied and you are thinking, okay, I want to go back, I want to go back, go ahead and click and see the video tutorial for this topic. But if you want to fix the performance before you go back on Windows 10, I did another video tutorial for that. How to speed up Windows 11 on the best performance, okay, on your old computer. And go ahead and watch this video tutorial that I did and then let me know what you think. So thank you for watching this video tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe, tips to fix, hit the like button and God bless you. See you on the next video tutorial.